does it mean to walk by the Spirit? Well, first, let's not confuse it with being in the Spirit. Every single believer is in God's Spirit. We're told this in Romans chapter 8, that if we're in the Spirit, it's because the Spirit of God dwells in us. And that's every single believer without exception. But there are two ways to walk. I mean, from moment to moment, you can walk by the flesh or walk by the Spirit. You can set your mind on things of the flesh or the things of the Spirit. Clearly, we have decisions to make every single moment of the day. And that's what walking by the Spirit is all about. Paul tells us if we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. What does that mean? Well, it's all about keeping in step with what God is doing within us. God lives within us through the Holy Spirit, and He's offering us His counsel and His comfort, His guidance and His truth, and yet we could choose to ignore it for, for a time. We're all being led by the Spirit, but we don't always follow that instruction. We're always being counseled, but we don't always heed what God has for us. And so that choice is with us and in us every single moment. But here's what you need to know. You're designed from the ground up to walk by God's Spirit. Nothing else will satisfy you. You are made for so much more, and you're not like the guy next door. I mean, he lays awake nights dreaming of new ways to sin. And here you are every single day getting your mind renewed, learning and growing, learning to say no to sin and to say yes to who you truly are. And that's part of the Spirit's role in your life. His Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are a child of God. So walking by the Spirit is waking up every day, learning who you are in Christ as the Holy Spirit teaches you, and then just being yourself. That's what walking by the Spirit is all about. So submit to Him, learn of Him, allow Him to teach you. And as you're dependent upon the Spirit of God, He will never, ever disappoint.